a what it, what's good i'm filming this for uh you know bob yeah. whatever his name is i call him bob for sure here can you hold this yeah guess what it is i snuck out some stuff using a sprite can hold on i got a i got a flashlight so there's uh, some special stuff in here yeah 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 let's chill all right we're only going to the sewer because like i don't want anyone seeing Otherwise, it's gonna be sus. If we keep walking, we should get to it eventually. Dude, that's good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What? That was nothing. It's okay. I'm ready to fucking. Oh shit. Alright. Dude, I'm like freaking out. Uh, we're going to sewer already, or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Far. But, like, didn't you just hear that thing, like, move or whatever? Yeah, I heard it from two inches. Shh. What the fuck? I heard that. No, I heard that. Okay. Hey, it's a bridge. What the? Oh. Shit. Yeah, you know, forget this. For Bob, we can get like footage of whatever's been going on. Forget the elk. No, Screw that. How much more can we get there? Um, it's like right over there. Fine. I'm not even. Hold on. I'm like looking around. It's this is sketching me out. Not, not gonna lie. Right now. Yeah, but like, trust me. Dude, the thing wants. Yeah, for real. Oh, there you go. I think we're... Little... Sketched? Yeah, I'm gonna show them real nervous. Oh, I thought that was a caterpillar. It was a branch. Oh, God, did you not get the skin? Oh, dude, you're not going in there. Oh, no. What is that? What is that? I don't know. Alright, dude, come on, come on, let's just get in. Come what? On. Let's just go. Come Why? On. Let's dude. just go in, dude. No. Let's just go in, come on. No, dude, what the heck? What? You know what, dude, if you're not gonna come with me, I'm going in my car. Dude, no, don't do it. Dude, no. That's, That's sketchy. George? Buddy? George? Go get in here. George Levy, have you heard of him? No. He's disappeared since last night. Okay. And I feel like it was a dream. But I I thought it was a dream until I woke up and he wasn't there. So what do you want me to do about it? Figure out ghosts on Koro Street. Ghost? Or something. Oh, you want me to write a story about it? No, I cannot find him. If you can write a story or something in the newspaper. <sighs> yeah, alright, kid. I'll I'll try something about it. I'll try to do something. Just uh, have a good day, I guess. I don't know. Alright. Uh, yeah. I'll continue my search. Alright. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, yo, what's up, Luther? How you doing? Uh, good, you? 
Mm, nothing much. Mm. And so what are you up to? Uh, well, there was this thing about this kid. He like came up to me and asked me to write this story for him about some sort of ghost or something over in a neighborhood over there. And ghosts? Yeah, I don't know. That neighborhood over there in Corolla Street? Yeah, actually, yeah. That's the one. Yeah, I heard a lot of people have been getting sick over there. And it's not a very safe place to stay in. That's really weird. Maybe there is something to this story after all. Yeah. Maybe I'll have to go check it out later. So, uh, in the meantime, you want to go get like lunch or go on a hike or something? Yeah, sure. Alright. Yo, uh, remind me to walk by the neighborhood when we're on our way back. Yeah, of course. Alright, cool. Okay, so, what can you imagine a ghost would look like in real life? Uh, I don't know. I'd assume it would probably look like a person. Because, you know, people, like, they usually say, like, oh, they're just the spirits of people, you know? Yeah, but maybe, maybe not. I don't know. They could have red eyes, too, like cartoons. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. The kid who was telling me about it didn't describe what it looked like. It could look like anything, honestly. Yeah. How am I supposed to get in here? There's no path. I guess I'll just cut through here. <sighs> so this is Corot Street. I guess this is the place where everybody's getting sick, huh? Aren't we all a little sick? I guess I'll come back after dinner. <sighs> I guess I'll start dinner in a minute, but I guess I'll check my email first. Oh, what's this? A video? But it's not playing. Weird. What else does this email say? Check out this video. It seems like the monster appeared out of the reflection on the water. But I can't watch it. Maybe I should go check out that town. Oh, that was some good dinner. That kid was saying, like, I want to see the monster and, like, mirrors or reflections or something like that, so I think I'm just going to take this GoPro with me, just in case. Wait a minute. Wait. Oh, fudge. <laughs> Seems like there's a, some grills out here. They seem to be pretty new. Benches. There's another one over here. Nothing really out of the ordinary. Whoa, holy crap. That is a big bug. Like the scariest thing I've seen so far.
Hey, yeah, uh, Andrew, you there? Yes, why? Yeah, okay, uh, so I was just out, uh, investigating this area. Yeah, yeah, out there. Uh, this, this kid told me about, uh, some sort of monster or something. Like a ghost? I don't really know what it is yet, but, like, it, I saw something out there, and I'm not sure what it was. Yeah, it could have been a ghost. Yeah, it was... I don't know, it looked like a bunch of arms or something just reaching out at me from behind a gate. I, I wasn't really sure what was going on, and I just booked it as fast as I could. It didn't touch you, right? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine, I think, but do you think we could meet up and talk about it or something? <sighs> yeah, I have a place. Uh, I'll send you the address. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Tomorrow morning. Be there. Alright, cool. See you then. Uh, Andrew. Hello. So, uh, I know I was saying something about, like, some hands and stuff and weird stuff going on. I, I don't really know what we're dealing with here. Do, do you have any idea? What you describe? It's probably a demon. Are you, are you sure about that? It sounds like, from your description, it sounds like a malevolent being. Okay. With malice, hate. Uh, how does it explain everyone there getting sick, then? Well, you know the Black Plague back in the uh, medieval times? Yeah. Or the Renaissance? That was because of demons. They were making sure that even when people uh, even when people uh, put preventions against the rats they would somehow still find a way inside their home and rich people had many uh, resources and they'd still succumb to the sickness it was because of them so what do we do I'm not sure I've never dealt with anything this powerful before I didn't always, uh, I wasn't always a religious man. I didn't always care about the supernatural. But, um, my wife, she, uh, she died of cancer. We were newlyweds. We only been married a few years, but, but, uh, nature came and she couldn't overcome it so I um, started uh, researching about this yeah to try to I don't know just hear her voice again but it's not what I heard when I when I thought I got what I wanted but it wasn't her it was uh, it was something else this book helped me though get through it and uh, and understand demons better, so. One thing you're gonna need is, I don't know if you're religious, but you're probably gonna wanna pick up one of these. Actually, you can keep that, it's a copy. All right, uh, thanks. Might help you. <clears throat> Some measures of prevention, which you're definitely gonna wanna do, especially if it is a demon and not an evil spirit. You're gonna wanna go to whatever convenience stores nearest to you and uh, buy lots and lots of salt and okay. pour it around the perimeter of your house. Right. And along your windowsill, and along your bed, if you're trying to go to bed that night, you want to make sure that whatever you do, that's that's covered. And um, up there, we have a baptism pool filled with holy water, uh, so I can uh, give you a flask and provide you some of that. Okay. You may want to use that as much as you can if you encounter someone maybe possessed. I don't know how strong this demon may be, but if he's making people sick, then that could also be a possibility. Yeah. Um, if it gets really serious and, and none of that is able to stop whatever this is, then you, you contact me and I will come. Actually, uh, sorry to say this, but I think it's already that bad. I'm going to need you to come with me. Well, give me some time to prepare. I'll, uh, I'll go home and get some stuff there. You don't have to worry about this uh, for the rest of today. Um, uh, meet up at dusk? 
Yeah. All right. I'll come. Be safe, my child. You too. Thanks for the help. Be sure to write down whatever you can about that unholy being. All right. I'll do Any that. information will do. Oh, hey, thanks for coming in. Yeah, no problem. So what did you want to talk about? Uh, I was just wondering if you knew about the disease that was affecting people on Coro Street. Oh yeah, yeah. I had I had a few friends like affected by it. They said it happened after they looked into a mirror. Really? Yeah. That's weird. Were there any other symptoms? They said it was like hypothermia. They were like cold and stuff, I guess. That's weird. They said they were all forgetful and what was I talking about? I was asking if you had anybody that you knew that was affected on Crow Street. You're saying they're like forgetful and stuff? No. Uh okay. This is Frank. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright then. Thanks for coming Why not you? I guess. Uh, I guess you can leave. I don't know. Alright. We do. So, I decided to write down everything I was finding out about this monster in a book that I called The Reflection Records. So we got everything? I think so, as far as I understand it. Call me the expert, so. Right. Uh, so, it's just over there. Oh yeah, this one left to go. Are you done filling that up? Yeah. So this was the spot where I was telling you about the arms that came out, alright? It doesn't seem like anything's wrong with it now, but like right here is where it came out. It doesn't seem like anything's here anymore, so... Well, just in case, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, Still got plenty more. I think maybe it, it was a few nights ago. It probably moved on. There's some houses up that way if you want to go. Okay. Right. Okay, this seems like a decent spot to set up something. Yeah. Uh, I've got the salt, like you wanted. Yeah, I need that. You might want to spread it around the perimeter. Yeah. What's this? I don't know, I guess it's a storage container. I'm not sure exactly what's in it. Probably building materials. I haven't finished this area yet. Alright. Just in case. Was stuff happening before this showed up? Before what showed up? Before this showed up. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I would... I, I just heard about it. I don't really know what's going on. I would sprinkle around this whole area here. Okay. Right. Now just wait. I don't, I'm not exactly sure. Um, now that we've done that, mm -hmm. they're gonna get pissed, most likely. Okay. Oh, because we're like on the territory or something? Well, you did sprinkle a bunch of salt on them. Yeah, and you threw holy water, holy water, so. Yeah. Specifically on that thing, because I don't know, it seemed to be uh, holding some dark energy. Yeah. So, that might be the source, I don't know. I don't know where that container came from. So, yeah. Alright. So we, we just have to stand our ground. Just walk around and make sure nothing's going on. Yeah. Alright. We won't know till uh, a couple hours that it's completely gone from this neighborhood. And then it'll be safe. Uh I mean in the meantime we can go check out some other areas. I think there was a sewer back there that might have something in it. Well since the sewer's down like kind of beneath the ground, I don't know if it will be sanctioned by what we just did here. So no, we should probably go by there too. Yeah. 
Otherwise, right. it will always be, be able to terrorize people down there. So. Yeah, it's uh, down this road over here. All right. This the sewer? Yeah, it's, uh, you just go down the hill here. You, you can't see it right now because it's too dark, but there's a little entrance down there. Yeah, not too far now. All right, uh, so here's the sewer. Uh, you ever see that movie It? No. Well, yeah. That's um. I'm guessing that, it involves sewers. Yeah, that's looks very ominous. All right, uh, let's take a look down there. Hold on, just before I go. All right. All right. I think we can get down over there. Oh. I don't know, it just seems like it's felt that we're going to or something. Like, don't you just get that feeling? Kind of, you know, I get the feeling that many things are going to happen. I'd rather not find out about it. Maybe, yeah. I don't know, I'm not much of a fighting man, so if something does come here that's not supernatural, but there's a lot of reality. Did you see that? I did. There's a tunnel right there. Is something clogged? Uh, I don't see anything. Do you see that? It's probably imagination, I think. Yeah. What was that? Someone here? No. Now's so not a good time to mess with us. No. What was that? I'm not grabbing that. Well, that would be cool. It's really weird. There's a log down there. You see that? Come closer. Dude, it's coming! <laughs> ah! Andrew! 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 What? What's going on? My kidneys uh, are failing. My liver's not working. What do you mean? I'm going, my body's going to shut down, man. Uh, Andrew, what? I just give him a dizzy, man. No, 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 no. Uh, this wasn't supposed to happen. It's you, fine. I've lived. I've lived. I, uh, Andrew, what? At least. No, no, no. Uh, no, I can, I can, I can save you. I can save... I don't know. I hope you're happy. Houses over here. I'll see if I can get some help. Uh, it's, it's a little tight. Ow. What are you doing? <laughs> you can kill me if you want, demon. <laughs> but if you do, you're gonna be trapped here for eternity. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.